Once again, welcome to Seven Coding Academy. My name is Emmanuel Chose Ipewosri. That was how I got the word Seven. C, C stands for Chose, E stands for Emmanuel, and I stand for Ipewosri. So without what the vendor is venture. Without wasting your time, I want us to talk about coding and programming today. There are major emphasis will be on HTML. But what is coding and programming? Many people, many writers, we find this confusing. But I have a page right here so I can read it up as I'm scrolling it down and reading it myself. The process of writing computer's code using programming languages is referred to as coding. So programming language is more complex and coding is part of programming language. The website application and other technology that we use on a daily basis, we are made using coding. But what is coding precisely? And why is it so crucial? The terms code and programming which are used both inside and outside of the technology industry are familiar to most people. Everybody knows about it, many people. But the majority of the greatest tech jobs demand coding abilities. If you want to work in a lucrative industry like software engineering, web development, or data science, you must be able to understand and use code. <laughs> Let's stop there. Do you get the gist of coding? Maybe we've learned something about coding today. Today, like I told you, we are going on HTML. But if you want to know more on coding, the theoretical aspect of it, please go to my blog, cvn.com stroke news. Or write in cvn.com, click on blog, and go to coding at cvn coding academy. And you will see everything you need to know theoretically about programming, about coding, and other like HTML, JavaScript, and the rest of them. More are coming, but for now, we are dealing with HTML. So without wasting time, without much ado, let's go to HTML. What is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, as you can see above. And what are the basis of HTML? If you scroll down, it says HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. It is a standard lang markup language for a web creation. It allows the creation and structure of sections, paragraphs, and links using HTML elements. The building blocks of a web page is HTML, such as tags and attributes. HTML has a lot of use cases. And where do you use HTML? Let's go down a little. You can use HTML in web development. Developers use HTML to code to design how a browser displays web page elements, such as text, hyperlinks, and media files. Don't worry, I'll take all these things one by one so you understand it and you understand how to use it. Internet navigation. Users can easily navigate and insert links between related pages and websites as HTML is heavily used to embed hyperlinks. Web documentation. HTML make it possible to organize and format documents, similarly to Microsoft Word. So HTML is when you give a command to a computer and the computer will issue other command, make use the code you gave him to enable users to use computer efficiently. It's also worth noting that HTML is not considered a programming language, okay, it's not a programming language as it can create dynamic functionality, it can't create it. For example, you can't take computer HTML in the better feeling for you submit, it can't go anywhere. So it is now considered an official web standard. That is why the World Wide Web Consortium, which is W3 School, which I always like you to always go over there, maintains and develop HTML specification, along with providing regular updates on this. If you also want to know about HTML, hypertext markup language, Please don't waste time. Go to my blog, cven.com slash news. Or just cven.com, why in my website, you click on blog, and you'll know more about HTML. So here is not for theory. Here is for practical. 100% we I'm going to teach you here, you'll be practical based. So without wasting time, let's go on to the practical side of HTML. Let me remind you that we're going to use what we call VS Code. VS Code. You know why I prefer VS Code in my, as code editor? Because VS Code will help you to complete your work. For example, let me just take you and show you something right now. Let me take you to Notepad Plus and then show you. I want to type the first HTML code, which I believe will help you. Now, in VS Code, look at this, look at this. I've already typed some. Let me know. Let me come to holding and type. Watch where my mouse is. This is my mouse is. To type anything on, on HTML code, First of all, you hold down your shift key and press your less than, less than key. Don't forget less than key. 
let's say I want to type a paragraph right now. Paragraph stands for P. So after this, you press P. After pressing P, you go down your shift key again and press greater than. Don't forget greater than. This is the opening tag. We call this opening tag. Less than P, greater than to close. This opening tags. Now after this opening tag, you now give your instruction. Let me let me say my instruction is this is our first paragraph. This is our first paragraph. Okay. This is our first paragraph. 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 Now this is our instruction that won't come to execute. To you have to close this uh, instruction so that HTML can execute it. How do you close it? You also have to hold down your shift key, press less than. After pressing less than, holding down your shift key, you press another forward splash. After you see my forward splash, no notification, you're not hearing me, but this is it. You press it. Then after that, you put your P back again, once again. And then what you do next, you press greater than. You see, now if you're using Notepad++ as your test editor, you will be writing all these things by yourself. But if you go to VS Code, you meant to hold down your shift key and press P and press the remaining, uh, press your less than, press P and then press greater than. VS Code will complete the closing tag for you. So all you need to do is just come to the middle of in between the opening tag and closing tag, which is this place, and type your instruction as you executed. So VS Code makes your work easier, makes it neater. In case you are trying to forget anything, VS Code help you to remember it on time. For example, if you just press P on VS Code, it will tell you, ask you what you want to do. And then, in fact, let's not waste time. Let's go to VS Code and see what I'm talking. I'm trying to give you the reason why I prefer using VS Code as code editor. Now, there are so many codes here, but no worry about that. Let's go. Just watch my mouse and see where I'm going with my mouse, okay? Where this is I'm going. H1 tutorial, this, 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 this. I want to go here, okay? Watch my mouse. See where I'm going and follow me up the video so you understand where I'm going. What my mouse, I want you to see what I'm typing. Let me go down to that. Now, this is my mouse, what I want to type. Now, I'll see what that same P that I wrote in the other place that we could see. Hold your type, just press P. You see, when you press P, what do you see? You see P up, param, peak, picture. You know, it will help you. Now, when you press P here, what do you see? It has open it and close it. No need for you to start typing all over again. So, you see why I prefer using VS Code? If you're a new programmer, First time, VS Code will help you to know what you're doing. If you're making a mistake, just through the help of VS Code, you can easily detect some mistake and correct it immediately. And you see, there's always a, a caption up. Once you put your mouse there, you give you a caption up of what you're doing. Say the element present a paragraph, MDN reference. You see, so VS Code is one of the best test editor you can think of when it comes to using HTML. So please, all my classes are going to use VS Code. If you don't know how to install VS Code on your system, if you want to go along with me, please check out my lesson. There is a tutorial on it on VS Code. Please check it out. Check it out, okay? Click on it. You will see how to install VS Code. Install your VS Code and work along with me. Let me tell you one thing. Coding is not just a practice. Coding has a lot of advantage. Let me scroll down and show you something about coding that will uh, probably amuse you. Who are people that use coding? There are so many of them, Apple, Google, Meto, and others, Pinterest, Intel, so many of them. We have different types of coding. All these are on my web page, cven.com slash news, my blog, okay? They are all there. But I want to take you to the level, salary level of VS Code and all that. So you see something and you will be amazed. Job title, yeah. Product manager also makes use of VS Code or work with programmers. How, uh, not VS Code, sorry, programming. I want to tell you the advantage of being a programmer or a coder. Okay, product manager in USA has an average salary of $133.80, average salary, about 10%. And data scientists have one hundred one point four ninety dollars What about game developer? 110 to 140 Server engineering, all these are related to coding. Okay, so coding part, if you talk about the future, their future prospect is very, very bright. Very, very bright. And what are coding? Python, Java, Ruby, and the rest of them. We're going to so the good news is that we're going to take you all this gradually. You have to be patient with us. You have to work with us. In fact, go to my blog and read up all the theoretical aspects of this. Okay. Now let's come over to what we are discussing. You see it. Let's go take it to complete it immediately. So that's why we are using VS Code. Today on this class, we are not going to start anything coding, but I want to do some explanation. Uh, don't worry about all this. You will see on my next in the other class how it, when you see meta tags, the other one you see how to use ATM basic tags. 
the information was given about how I got all this and how you two can get on this. But here I want to explain the data that. So the goal of this tutorial is to explain data that. The first one, email after your heading, is meta chasset. This meta, meta chasset, you call it chasset or call it character set. It's just a way of telling you the character set of your code. So that every browser, short search engines will know the character set of your code. You tell them to know U2S minus 8 is used worldwide. So you, you tell them to know it. Okay. The next one is meta name. I don't want to waste time. Meta name is serves as a description. Meta is just a way of describing something. By which search engine we always recognize search engine like Google, we always recognize. Now meta name is description. What are you describing? You have to put it on content. And what is our content? This is my first beautiful code website. Remember, we are building a website. This is your first one. I assume, or even if it's not your first one, let's assume this is our first one, you know. But here, don't forget that we just make it simpler. But actually, you can actually wrote everything about you, what your site is all about. You have, if you are into product, what your product is, what you are producing, what you are selling, how much you know. Because here, it will help search engine to understand your website. In your Google, most times these are not human beings; they are robotics. So when they apply their searching, they don't waste time. They want to know your site before they go into it. So here help you in what we call SEO, search engine optimization. Don't worry much about SEO because I'm going to teach you SEO in our digital marketing. Because we are a team, you not just me. We have a lot of people taking teaching this course. So you're going to learn a lot from us. All we need for you to be patient, follow us, practice. If you don't practice, you won't learn coding. Coding involves a lot of practice, and you have to be sharp, you have to be smart, you have to be in a quiet place. And when you get confused, it's natural, it's normal. Don't be because you have confused, you drop it. No, keep learning. Get back to it again, repeat it again, gradually do it again, and you get it. Once you get it, you see the smile on it, okay? So the next one is meta name author. This author is just to tell you the owner, like the content. What is the content? I say manner. The name is a manner as I told you. You know? So that is what that is what that is all about. Then the another meta name is keyword. Keyword means a strategy help in search engine, but these days they are no more using it. But sometimes it's good to have a keyword, maybe like five keywords on your website. So that Google will know what you're talking about, what your product is all about, what you're doing your website, and then be able to market you out to the world. Then the another one that's very, very important is your meta name that has to deal with the viewport. Viewport and the content there should be width equals to device uh, your dash width. Initial scale should be equal to 1.0. You know why this is very, very important? Because it will enable your site to be viewed on mobile devices. These days, many people view their site, many people work on mobile devices. Nobody are interested in laptop and all that. So, majority of, majority of people that will go to your website will be using their phone to browse it. If you don't put this, it may not be able to display very well on their phone. They might not see some things, it may be too small, too blurred, maybe like in Zoom, maybe, you know, many things will be cutting here and there. So, that is why you must put this. So having explained method tags, don't worry about all this like I told you earlier on. I have a video that I showed you how you can write it, how you can code it, and we also show you practically how these things can be seen. Okay? Don't forget to, I would love to use this as a theoretical aspect. Under here on your VS Code, when you right click on it, you will see open with Live Server. If you don't have to install Live Server, just simply come to these boxes, click on it, go to extension, Click type live server. Once live server appear, click on install. I want you to install two things: live server and prettier. This will help your work to be neat, to be clean. So make sure you install it. Use the same method. Go to click on this four button. Go to search. Click on live server. After installing live server, come back again. Click on search. Click on prettier. After installing prettier, then you are done with it. Then follow along with the class. Once again, welcome to Silver Seven Coding Academy. Most of our lectures are free, so you don't need to pay anything. But please, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribing will not give us money. Some people get confused that once I subscribe, I will start paying for him. You are not paying me. When you subscribe, it enables you to see my website, to see any videos I release, any teaching, any tutorial, you're able to read it. What gives us money is adverts. When people place adverts on our, on, our, on our YouTube, that's when YouTube will now pay. So it's not your subscription or anything, no, but it also edits. So please give to me that favor, subscribe to my channel, and click that notification button. So every time I release something like this, you can see it, you go through it, you learn it, and don't forget to practice, 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 practice. If you want to be a coder, you want to be a programmer, you want to be good in programming, then learn how to practice. 
Grammarly is difficult, I won't like it, but it's also very easy. Fun. Yeah. If you like it, then it's good. Okay. Tell computer what to do. Tell computer not tell you what to do. Command computer. Computer are just garbage in garbage out. And I tell you, when you tell computer what to do, it's gonna do it for you. Once again, thank you so much for listening to this tutorial. If you understand what I'm saying, even if you don't understand this very well, don't worry. Let's go to the next class. See you.